No Reggae Exchange yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com, like always, hola como estas? Before I begin, I'm going to say this, I lost a lot of respect for some individuals out there. And before I begin, I am a registered Republican. Not that I am, but I am a Libertarian, and as of right now, that party shares some of its values. Like I said in my previous video, I am a common sense guy. And since this is the realest Yankees YouTube channel out there, I am going to start putting individuals on blast. Yeah, because you know why? A lot of children, a lot of kids, come to these YouTube channels to listen, to see about the Newark Yankees. There's a whole bunch of people out there that are very bad examples. Very bad examples. But I'm not going to name them. These individuals are primarily the first clowns to come out and say, leave politics out of baseball. But then, they're the same ones, I don't know, throwing out their political ideologies out there. Saying, oh, that other side, forget them, they're not human. Yeah, what I say is right. These same individuals have absolutely zero humor at all. What I was saying in my previous video, the original one, get in the box. I specifically said if it was David Robertson or any white picture on the Yankees doing it and saying it to, let's say, a Mookie Betts, all hell would have broke loose. But since these people are so triggered and have politics so much up there, you know what? They don't listen. They have the attention span of a brick wall or maybe the big monster over there at Fenway Park and yes at one point I was a registered Democrat but I don't like that party no more but it doesn't mean that let's say if you're a Democrat that I hate you no I don't obviously I make Yankees videos to bring everybody together but there's other youtubers that don't see it that way like I said I, I lost a ton of respect for some people out there Taking my words and flipping it to somehow, let's say, attract a niche of individuals on, let's say, the right, that was pathetic. So, since I'm the realest YouTube channel out there, I am going to read your comments specifically and answer them. Come on, you think I'm a coward? You think I'm going to lay down and say, oh, and go along with whatever the hell you think? No, I'm not like that. Everybody that follows this channel knows I don't cower down on anybody's opinion. And I'm sorry if you don't have a sense of humor. Obviously, if you can't decipher what a joke is, like the tone of my voice is so obvious that in some instances I'm joking. If you can't decipher when I'm joking and other individuals flip it so they can say, oh, Felix said this and that, taking my words out of contents, that's pathetic. That is really pathetic. So I'm going to read your comments now. Trust me, you guys could uh, leave all these comments on the Yes Network and get away with it. You're not going to get away with it on this channel. Because I know for a fact, even though I voted not for Hillary Clinton for that other candidate, doesn't mean that I don't know there's still issues in America where, let's say, a Gary Sanchez or a Mookie Betts, even if they are baseball players, are going to be treated differently. Okay? If you don't know that, you're living in La La Land. So Kim says, you reaching. Okay, reaching for what? Your feelings? What's going on here? I mean, I'm not the guy that said, get in the effing box here. I'm the guy that said, hey, if one of these New York Yankees pitchers did it to uh, Mookie Betts or any player of color on the Red Sox, there would have been a, a riot. I mean, you guys aren't that smart because I'm siding with you, but then you think I'm saying that um, I'm labeling a white man racist when I'm clearly I am not. It just shows what other individuals say about you guys because you just get triggered easily when you think somebody of your uh, political orientation is being attacked. I mean, that's really... Come on, guys. Be smarter than that. Not to sound negative about this Yankees fan, but he's using tribalism here. He is saying that, oh, just because I had positive words for J.D. Martinez, people were attacking him for being racist, supposedly, that my opinion this time doesn't count because 
I'm supposedly I am attacking his ideology and he wants to keep me in some sort of tribalism where everything that I say has to be on some sort of political realm where it fits his side. Like I said, I clearly stated if David Robertson said the same thing to Mookie Betts, that would have been front page on every newspaper in Boston. Do you guys listen or you want to hear what you want to hear? That's the problem. That's the problem, folks. And again, I don't have any problems with these commentators. Comment all you want, but I do have the right to comment back. Manfinder56 says, Felix, a few weeks ago you were very level-headed about JD tweet situation. Let's not lose that here. You call it dirty or whatever, but where the hell does you Dominican boy come from? We all know he was referring to the batter's box and not some reference to a shanty town whatever. I didn't like it at all, but I'm not going to start throwing out race cards. Oh uh, yeah, when a white guy says get in the effing box, first of all, expletive, expletive, get in the effing box, expletive, expletive. But it really just exposes some sort of political ideology that individuals are signing with a Boston Red Sox player because they'll be leaving the same comments if let's say, I'm sorry to keep using David Robertson, I'm sure he's a fine man, but they won't leave the same comments if David Robertson told uh, Mookie Betts to get in the effing box. So let's say I was a Red Sox fan and defending Mookie Betts. That same individual would leave the same comment saying, get the hell out of here, you're wrong. Because he identifies with tribalism. He's going up to bat for his political ideology. And I'm sorry to say this, folks. I mean, it's quite obvious what it is. Now we have Jesus himself leaving comments because other people want to flip my words to fit their narrative. How funny is that? Let's see what Jesus Christ has to say. He said, why are you using the race card? I never used it. I just clearly stated if it was the other way around. Oh, the Yankees are such an evil organization. They're the worst. You would have the NY Daily News making a whole bunch of articles about the Yankees, about how the Yankees are alt-right or something. Because we all know the media loves to attack the Yankees. Let's continue. Half of MLB is Latino, and you don't see Brazier doing that to others. You know how every Sox-Yankees series is? When the Sox are down, they look for a spark like a brawl to show they aren't intimidated by the Yanks, but they are. And to rally the troops, Ron Darling, who is part Chinese, used the phrase chink in the armor last night. And now they are calling him racist. F off with that ish. Can't I watch a damn baseball game without the SJWs ruining it for me? <laughs> this guy, look, he assumes that I'm a leftist. He assumes that I'm a liberal. And right there, because he does not, supposedly he does not agree with what I said. He's just flipping my words because other people, because he, he heard it from other people saying that I said whatever. He just assumed that I'm a liberal now. And he's calling me an SJW, <laughs> which is hilarious. Uh, Jesus Christ is calling me an SJW. I mean, God forbid, I mean, you point out that there's still issues in this country. It doesn't matter what side you're on, left or right. We still need to focus on fixing those issues. So then again, I get back to how these individuals are trying to place me on the left or whatever. And they're the ones that look ignorant because they think race-related issues is a leftist thing. I mean, that's pretty sad. And this is another so-called uh, comment from a Yankees fan, supposedly. As you can see, most of these comments have no pictures, which makes me assume that they're sock accounts of somebody that's angry. But let's read it. Dylan Tady, or Dylan Teed, not racist at all. Shut up. Coming from a diehard Yankees fan. So young people specifically... I know you guys are interested in games, sports, etc. Do not take these individuals as an example. Like I said, even if it was a Yankees player that did it, his opinion would still be the same. I've exposed these fools in such a way that I got them defending Red Sox players. I mean, this is laughable. So here's the best one. 
This guy is saying that something is not racist while being racist. He is critiquing my accent. He must be jealous since he probably can't speak two languages. I mean, if he tried to speak Spanish, he'll be laughed at. I mean, it's quite laughable. So William Rickardson says, If you ask me, question mark, question mark, it's one thing to be ignorant, as you obviously are, quite another to advertise it. Ask equals ASK. Well, that's it. I specifically made these videos not to be political, but to be a great example for the young people out there. For the young people out there that I know are searching these Yankees videos, there are fans of the Yankees just as I was when I was 10 years old going to Yankee Stadium with my sister at the bleachers, not understanding why grown females would take off their shirts and show everything. And yes, folks, I grew up quick going to the bleachers, especially back then, 1995, 1996. But the point of the matter is you have seen the ignorance firsthand. These individuals assumed that I was supposedly affiliated with some sort of party which I'm not. These people will not look at the issues. These people will claim that this and that belongs to the left. This and that belongs to the right. No, when you're common sense, you call out hypocrisy. If you are really real, you wouldn't care if you looked like a leftist or a extreme right person. Like I looked when I defended JD Martinez. I used common sense in that situation. And yet again, I am using common sense. You don't like it? Oh well. But I can say this. I know for a fact I am being a great example for the next generation that's coming up. Like always, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you all next time.